walked in the house and I immediately seen blood. I really didn't put it together right at first. I walked past the kitchen and going to my room and that's when it hit me. The window was open, the blinds were just waving in the air, the screen was knocked out and there was blood all over the floor. That's when I got the phone call. Please, Kevin, come to the hospital. I've been shot. Help, please, Kevin. I, I, I can't describe how I felt. After that moment, I put together a strategy called the 200-yard camp. And today what we're going to do is go into the three levels of uh, shit hitting the fan. First one being in your home. Second one being on the streets. And the last one, if you had to have a sustained way of life, outside or away from your home or your homeland. All of these things are things we should always prepare for. So, let's go into the details of my strategy. Smoke Pulp TV. The Smoking Gun. In a level one home invasion situation, my concerns are as follows. Speed, maneuverability, over penetration, sound, and a family plan. Now, when I select a weapon from my gun room under that level one situation, these are my priorities and concerns. So that brings me to this pretty mother here. Up here, an HK-45. The HK-45 is one of my bedside guns. The reason it does of not only the caliber, but also its effectiveness. When it comes to speed, it's something that very quick to deploy, lightweight, has a 45 round, and. With that 45 round, it's a bigger slug. So obviously it's not penetrating as far, but it's gonna pack a real serious punch. So the HK-45, that's gonna be one of my level one, my first go-to, because it's something that's easily accessible, packs a serious punch, and just a beautiful firearm, as you see. My second concern is maneuverability. So nothing works better than this MPXK. The Sig Sauer MPXK is perfect for a level one situation in home defense. It gives you the ability to go inside doors, maneuver through corners, and still have a high capacity round count with not too much over penetration and uh, flawless functionality. The impact of a firearm going off in a confined area or location can be traumatizing, especially to sissies, some women and kids. So it brings me to my next level of concerns, which are sound and over penetration. Depending on what type of guns you're used to dealing with, these two things go hand in hand. So what I have is a 300 blackout. The 300 blackout is an infamous weapon for close quarters combat. <laughs> Isn't that a tongue twister? But the bullet is less likely to go through multiple layers or doors. Very important, over penetration. When you're dealing with uh, loved ones in the same household, just the thought of uh, bullets flying in that location uh, can be terrifying. So you wanna make sure that you're dealing with things that hit the intended target and stay there. So over penetration and sound whenever dealing with a level one home invasion, very important. You're faced with the unfortunate possibility of things escalating to a level two situation. You're now dealing with chaos, street riots, and possibly urban warfare. These different conditions set different obstacles, so it definitely leaves me with different concerns that obviously affect my choice of weapons. Some of those uh, concerns transition from your level one situation like speed. Those additional concerns include weight, cost, and unlike level one, under penetration. Your level two gun is usually your truck gun. So let me go into the reasons that inspired this build and inspired this video ultimately. It's a hybrid of an AK-47 and an AR-15. What it does is it gives you that penetration power of a 7.62 round, but all of the functionality and the accuracy of an AR-15 platform. This hybrid build is amazing. And then I capped it off with a side charging handle from uh, Devil Dog Customs. This thing's incredible. So with the truck gun, you want it to be very affordable 
and also dependable. You don't want one of these little guys running around with a high point looking in parking lots trying to steal a car uh, radio and come across your hunting badge. So you want to make sure that whatever choose you choose for your uh, vehicle weapon is something that's not only dependable but also cost effective that you won't miss. It's a build that I put together with the intent to be a car gun, inexpensive and also just super effective on you know punching through these barriers that you're gonna find in a level two situation. A lot of times people think that uh, bullets are gonna go through uh, or will go through car doors. That's not always the case. And uh, unless you are using the, the right type of round, then uh, you're gonna run into some obstacles where you're gonna be less effective. So with the 200 yard king, I wanna be able to dominate anything within the 200 yard spectrum. And that 762 round definitely gives me those capabilities. long-term survival off the grid. At this point, your concern can shift from firearms more into things that have to do with humanity. Your personality, your skill set, and just your overall usefulness will take you way further than any 308, although that won't hurt either. You want to be around like-minded people. This is when the caliber of your weapon means a lot less than just the caliber of people that you're around. The reason this is so important is for a few reasons. This is when investment actually comes into play even before this shit hit the fan circumstance arrives. Even today, you can get an off-grid square or plot of land for anywhere from two to $5,000 in some areas, where you can set up anything from container houses to just makeshift areas where you can kind of pre-plan any of these events happening or taking place or going on. Make sure that you're around somewhere where there's some sort of water source. Make sure that you're somewhere where you feel that has fertile enough ground to where you can cultivate it and hopefully grow some crops. These things are all things you want to plan in this uh, level three situation and it all starts with the location. So you want to make sure that you're around good people with good values so you can implement some sort of systems that uh, are reminiscent of this great country we live in. So. Always put America first. Definitely subscribe. Smoke Pole TV, the smoking gun.